Hello, this is Father Cepeda with another tutorial. I am going to show you in this one how to record a MuseScore file as a video with the sound so that people can practice their different parts. And so for that, we're going to need two pieces of software, two, two different softwares. The first one is OBS and the second one is MuseScore over here. Now, both of these are free. You should be able to download them for free. They are uh, open source software and so make sure that when you download it you're downloading it from the from the official web page uh, you should be able to find in YouTube several tutorials for that so once you have both of these downloaded uh, you will open your MuseScore file and the first thing you will need to do of course is make sure that there are no mistakes in the notation if there are mistakes I would really appreciate if uh, whoever's working in this actually uh, trains, you know, learns him uh, to use MuseScore because that is uh, quite quite a lot of work, and it would be great if uh, they could finish and and complete the sub with the the notation the score here. Okay, so we're going to go to View. You want to see the Play Panel, and you also want to see the Mixer. Okay, so the first thing is in the Play Panel, we are going to reduce the speed a lot, and the reason why we do that. We're, go we're not going to sing these pieces so slow, but we want to reduce the speed so that people can practice it because you need it to be slow so that you can learn the notes little by little. Once they do the real practice, they can speed up the piece a little bit. Then here in the mixer, if you have four parts, you're going to see here four columns. And this S means that you're playing the soprano or and mute, mean the M is for mute. That means that it's not going to play. So you can do that to play the whole of the each of each part. Here, in each one of the staffs, you could say uh, you're going to have one voice and two voices, or even four voices. The first voice is the soprano, and the second one is the alto. If it's over here, then you have the the tenor and the bass. So in this case, if you click these buttons, then that means that you're silencing them. Let me show you. I'm going to play everything right now, and then I silence these two and sometimes the software fails but basically with these two silence then you can only hear the ones on top and even if I click this one then I'm going to hear only voice 2 so that's what we're going to use to record all the different parts now that I know this and I have pretty much everything set up I'm going to, to increase the volume a little bit how do I record? For that, I'm going to use OBS. When you open OBS, you are not going to see anything, perhaps. And what you have to do is add sources to record. So you go here to sources and you're going to click the add button. And in this case, it's showing because I needed to show because I'm recording already. You want it, with you, it might not show anything. In the add button, first put display capture and then just say OK to everything. Then that will show you the screen. The next thing you need to do is add sound the sound of your computer. Of course, I'm, I'm assuming that you have a computer with sound. You need to. So you would go to the plus sign again and then audio output capture. And just again, OK to everything. Basically, uh, you should see here in the lines that this is moving whenever you're playing something. So here I'm going to play something and you're going to see how it moves. You see how it's moving down here. That means that it's recording. Okay, so we're ready to record almost. We don't want to record this whole screen. We only want to record this section over here. So what I'm going to do first is go to Zoom, Page Width. That means that all this space is going to be filled with the page, and this is what I want to record, this area. So now that I have that ready, and I'm going to record Voice 1 first, what you would do, once you have this set up, go to Display Capture, Press the key ALT and at the same time without leading, letting the key, without letting go of the key, move this frame here so that it's only in that section that we're going to want to record. ALT then I drag it up and that way the only thing that is going to be recorded is 
this section over here. Now without pressing Alt, I'm just going to make it bigger so that it, fall, it fills the whole screen. And there we go. Now this is the video that I'm going to get. Once I have that, I can start recording. So in this case, I am already recording, so I just will play the video and we'll see how it comes. There we go. So once you do that, you can stop it, just clicking here and stop recording, and send me that video and I will edit the rest of it. Now the other way, the that's one voice though. We need to record the second voice. So once we've done that, we'll again click start recording, which in this case I'm already recording, so I won't click it. And then we're going to change the voice. Now we're going to play voice two, then go back to the beginning and play it. There we go. Again, we would click stop recording and that would be the second video in game. Now that we've added that note, I want to record, we always want to record one with all of the, all of the music activated. So we're going to do that right now. In this case, it would be advisable as well to record the bass and the tenor in the same manner. You would just mute all these other ones and just allow first for the bass and then for the tenor and just record each video like that. So you would have four videos for each part and then a video with all of them together. So five in total. Once you would have that, you would go to a website called fromsmash.com. And in here, you can just uh, drop a file in here. You will drop the video file, which would look like this or something. It would load them up and then you can just email it to my email or whoever's email is going to be doing this. And that way we can have the videos to be able to edit them. That would be all for this manual. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can find it useful. And hopefully we can get many, many people to help with this and be able to create a really good video file of uh, practice, uh, practice videos for the choir. God bless you. This is Father Cepeda, and we will see you later in another tutorial of the Catholic Wire.